stay with him. Contact, combat town. Deck, bricks. The Osprey allows us to land vertically, but it also gives us that flexibility of an airplane where we can travel farther and faster. Minimizing time in hostile areas, minimizing danger to the Marines in the back. Hello everyone, welcome to the U.S. Marine Channel. The Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey is an American multi-mission, tilt-rotor military aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, and short takeoff and landing stole capabilities. It is designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the long-range, high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. The failure of Operation Eagle Claw during the 1980 Iran hostage crisis highlighted the military role for which neither conventional helicopters nor fixed-wing transport aircraft are suited. The U.S. Department of Defense DoD, initiated a program to develop innovative transport aircraft with long-range, high-speed and vertical takeoff capabilities, and the Joint Service Vertical Takeoff Landing Experimental JVX program was officially launched in 1981. In 1983, a partnership between Bell Helicopter and Boeing Helicopters was awarded the contract to develop the V-22 tilt rotor aircraft. The V-22 made its first flight in 1989 and flight testing and design modifications began. Due to the complexity and difficulty of being the first military tilt rotor, development took many years. The U.S. Marine Corps USMC, began crew training on the MV-22B Osprey in 2000 and deployed it in service in 2007. The U.S. Air Force USAF, fielded its tilt-rotor version, the CV-22B, in 2009. Since its deployment to the Marine Corps and Air Force, the Osprey has been deployed for transport and rescue operations over Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, and Kuwait. In 2021, the U.S. Navy began using the CMV-22B for carrier-based transport missions. The failure of Operation Eagle Claw, the 1980 Iranian hostage rescue operation, demonstrated the need for the U.S. military to have new aircraft that not only can take off and land vertically, but can also carry combat troops and fly at high speed. In addition, Concentrated forces are vulnerable to a single nuclear weapon. In 1981, the Pentagon, under the guidance of the U.S. Army, initiated the JVX aircraft program with the objective of developing aircraft that could serve these tactical roles. The tactical objective of the U.S. Marine Corps is amphibious landings, and the JVX program promised to facilitate this. The U.S. Marine Corps' main helicopter, the CH-46 Sea Knight, was aging and had not been accepted for replacement. Without the CH-46, the U.S. Marine Corps' amphibious capabilities would be greatly reduced, and the U.S. Marine Corps leadership believed that a proposed merger between the Marine Corps and the Army was a viable threat. This potential merger was similar to a post-World War II proposal by President Truman. Although the Office of the Secretary of Defense and the Navy administration opposed the Tiltroder project, pressure from Congress had a major impact on the development of the program. The Navy and U.S. Marine Corps took the lead in 1983 JVX combined the requirements of the U.S. Marine Corps, U.S. Air Force, Army, and Navy. A request for preliminary design proposals was issued in December 1982 Aerospatial, Bell Helicopter, Boeing Vertol, Grumman, Lockheed, and Westland expressed interest. Contractors were encouraged to form teams. Bell teamed with Boeing Vertol 
and submitted a proposal for an expanded version of the Bell 1515 prototype on February 17, 1983. Since this was the only proposal received by the JVX program, a preliminary design contract was awarded on April 26, 1983. The JVX aircraft was named the V-22 Osprey on January 15, 1985, and by March of that year, the first six prototypes had been produced and Boeing Vertol expanded to handle the workload. Production work was shared between Bell and Boeing. Bell helicopters will manufacture and integrate the wings, nacellas, rotors, drive systems, tail wing and aft ramp, as well as the integration and final assembly of the Rolls-Royce engines. Boeing Helicopters manufactures and integrates the fuselage, cockpit, avionics and flight controls. The U.S. Marine Corps Osprey was designated the MV-22, while the U.S. Air Force Osprey was designated the CV-22. Full-scale development began in 1986. On May 3, 1986, Bell Boeing was awarded a $1.714 billion United States dollars V-22 contract by the U.S. Navy. At this point, all four U.S. military services had plans to acquire the V-22. The Osprey is the world's first mass-produced tilt-rotor aircraft with a three-bladed promoter, turboshaft engine, and transmission nacelle on each wing tip. It is classified by the Federal Aviation Administration as a powered lift aircraft. During takeoff and landing, the aircraft normally operates as a helicopter with vertical nacellas and horizontal rotors. Stoll rolling takeoff and landing capability is achieved by tilting the nacelle forward up to 45 degrees. Other orientations are also possible. Pilots describe the V-22 in airplane mode as comparable to a C-130 in feel and speed. Ferry range is over 2,100 nautical miles. Operational range is 1,100 nautical miles. 